Hello everyone! Welcome to the Season of Creation. The theme for this year's Season of Creation is Jubilee for the Earth. During this season, let us celebrate the goodness and beauty of creation. Thank God for His love and mercy and pray that we may care for our common home and give our earth rest from greed and destruction so that it can continue to sustain and govern the earth community. Brother Anthony S. P. Damig, FSM, who will lead us in reflection, is a professed member of the Franciscan Sons of Mercy. He is the formation coordinator of the Pontifical Mission Societies of the Philippines. He is a sought-after recollection and retreat facilitator of youth. Today is the feast day of St. Francis Assisi, patron saint of animals and ecology. His love of God was expressed in his love of all creation. He cared for the poor and sick, preached sermons to animals, and praised all creations as brothers and sisters. Brother Anthony, a Franciscan, will reflect on Laudato Si number 10, on St. Francis' care for creation and the poor. When I was in grade 6, our religion teacher showed to our class a part of the 1972 film, Brother Sun, Sister Moon, Fratello Sole, Sorella Luna, directed by Franco Seferelli. The movie inspired me to know more about the man named Francis from Assisi. Since then, his life haunted me. It was the beginning of my quest to follow his footsteps in loving Jesus who spoke to him in the ruins of the chapel of San Damiano, where he heard the voice that asked him to restore my church. It was a discovery on how a wealthy son of a cloth merchant and who once dreamt of becoming a knight left everything to follow the path of the gospel. He was disowned by his father and treated like a madman in their place. But the fire of his love for Christ did not stop him to embrace a life of poverty, chastity, and obedience. His lifestyle became a radical way of following the scriptures, and this was mirrored in his intimacy for the created world and his charity for the poor, manifested in his simplicity of life, joyful living, and open-heartedness. Like Moses, who was called by God through the burning bush experience, Francis was also called to an experience that will lead him to a life that would be consumed by charity. One day, as he was riding a horse, he saw a leper on the road. He spurred his horse to flee, but as his horse galloped by, Francis thought he saw Christ in the mangled face of the outcast. He stopped, went down from his horse, went near to the leper, and he embraced, kissed, and gave him alms. This was the start of his conversion, of his discovery of Christ in serving others. In reading the scriptures, Francis was made to see his Creator in his creatures. He wrote the Canticle of Creatures or the Canticle of Brother, Son, and Sister Moon. Everything created by God is connected to us, our brothers and sisters. Every line is praise to God's wondrous deeds through every creature in this world. Be praised, my Lord, through all your creatures. As we celebrate the season of creation, we are all challenged by Pope Francis to the example of St. Francis of Assisi to care for the vulnerable and of an integral ecology live out joyfully and authentically. Laudato Si number 10. To see the face of God in His creation. Thank you. How do I express my love for creation and the poor? 
Most High, All-Powerful, Good Lord, Yours are the praises, the glory, the honor, and all blessing. To You alone, Most High, do they belong, and no man is worthy to mention Your name. Praised be you, my Lord, with all your creatures, especially Sir Brother's Son, who is the day and through whom you give us light, and he is beautiful and radiant with great splendor, and bears a likeness of you, Most High One. Praised be you, my Lord, through Sister Moon and the stars. In heaven you form them clear and precious and beautiful. Praised be you, my Lord, through brother wind, and through the air, cloudy and serene, and with every kind of weather, through which you give sustenance to your creatures. Praised be you, my Lord, through sister water, which is very useful and humble and precious and chaste. Praised be you, my Lord, through brother fire, through whom you light the night and he is beautiful and playful and robust and strong. Praised be you, my Lord, through our sister Mother Earth, who sustains and governs us, and who produces varied fruits with colored flowers and herbs. Praised be you, my Lord, through those who give pardon for your love and bear infirmity and tribulation. Blessed are those who endure in peace, for by you, Most High, they shall be crowned. Praised be you, my Lord, through our sister bodily death, from whom no living man can escape. Woe to those who die in mortal sin. Blessed are those whom death will find in your most holy will, for the second death shall do them no harm. Praise and bless my Lord, and give Him thanks, and serve Him with great humility. And may God bless us with the spirit of global solidarity, flowing from the mystery of the Trinity, Creator, Word, and Holy Spirit. Amen.